Hello friends, Jacqueline, Heirloom, Vintage, and Collectibles. I decided to, uh, at the 11th hour, come to a Goodwill that I shop at maybe quarterly. And it is closing in 30 minutes. And they're very strict about closing them doors. And I understand because I'm sure people would just be lingering around and their staff has to get home and do those things. So... Um, first I want to thank everyone for, um, viewing my channel. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. That would be awesome. And I also want to have a conversation with you. So if you comment, that would be great. And if you like, that would even be awesome as well. Jacqueline Heirloom Vintage and Collectible. So I think that one thing I'm going to start doing is looking for me some, um, some uh, fairy lamps. I think uh, I went to a store a few weeks ago and I, I was told I missed one when I was speeding through the store, which is what I do. So I've been asked to slow down and I agree. I just, um, you know, I feel like I'm going slow, but once you upload, it's like, you know, anyway. This is a cute piece. It is a home crafter's piece, it looks to be. But the uh, finish on it is great. Now, I don't shop at this store. Like I said, I come maybe uh, not one, maybe every two months I can say I make my way here. It's not that far from me, but I just don't come. And I have to now compare how they do their prices because... I went to another one recently, the last video I showed, and I noticed that they look like they had been putting their prices up a little bit. So, what's this beautiful thing here? Oh, I can't peel it off because my hands are full, but it's painted very well. I'm not sure if it's coming through. Oh yeah, this is the store with the music. They have their music up pretty loud. So hopefully I can get through this video without too much challenge, too many challenges. Otherwise I'll have to attempt <laughs> to do a voiceover. This is an interesting piece. Um, I've seen several of them in clear and other places. And uh, I think they turn that music up loud so that they can kind of make sure people don't linger around too long even though we are reducing their inventory lot here's a cute piece i'm seeing some vintage vintage e items so uh i'm gonna look at this red end cap and then i'm gonna go down the aisles <sighs> since i'm in a hurry i get anxious about um that's who makes this mm, coals i was really coming to look at this piece here but let's see what i can find i see a cute item i'll come back to it um they have some really nice stuff on this red end cap actually see what this is here that's pretty light um i wanted to look at this i have some shells similar in my inventory that i have yet to get rid of oh by the way everyone i'm doing one minute vintage drop sales and i need you guys to look at those shorts they're shorts and they have little items I haven't had a chance to do hauls so this is my way of doing a haul and a sale at the same time and they're unique cool pieces priced right so check out my shorts my video shorts <laughs> not my other shorts and um, see if you see anything that you want Oh, this is very interesting. What is it? I mean, it's a bottle. It's upside down. Oh, it looks like maybe a bird feeder, but where do they feed at? Or eat at? 
Oh, goodness. Oh, okay. Also, in addition, in 30 minutes at 5 o'clock, your store will be closed. Now, green is Thank the um, color. Yep. Green is 50% off. And I'm not sure if it ends today or if it ends, starts this week. Now, sometimes, you guys, in my defense, when I'm walking quickly through some aisles, those are aisles that I... Am not really interested in looking at at the moment. It would take too much time uh, for me to stop in those aisles because they're jam packed and they, you know, like this plate section. I would need a little bit of time to go through these plates if it's anything I wanted. And that's the other thing. There are some things like in this glass aisle and in the plate aisle that I'm not interested in. So I apologize. I tend to walk fast through those. Holy mackerel, this place has end caps on both ends. I have to come here more often. There's a tea cozy thingy. Okay, I am moving a little quick because I'm just passing by this end cap. This is an interesting hobnail. Looks like the handle is applied. That's nice. Put that in my brain. I did not get a cart, you guys. I Not that I don't get carts. Typically, I kind of don't get carts, especially when I have a full inventory like I have. Now, these are unique. Let me move around. These are, if I'm not mistaken, like for tortillas. And it's clay. And, you know, for personal use, that's not bad. It's nothing that I would ship or try to sell. I would use it for myself. Because I do eat a lot of tortillas. Okay, please excuse that music. The, yeah, I just remember now. This is neat. That this store does a lot of loud music. I am going to attempt... Well, I really shouldn't be worrying about this because it's only a single item uh, it has something in it let's see what it is oh. it is something poppy oh august poppy it's not saying who the maker is it's lustered it's cute 99 cents not bad a heavy tray so on the other side of this aisle I'm on, I'm going to slowly turn. These are like kitchenware items that I don't usually pick up for the most part. I mean, if I'm in the kitchen aisle area, I'm picking it up for myself. I do see this. Um, I know this is vintage. Um, help me out, you guys. It says Beautywear by... I'm going to put it close for us all to see it because I can't read it. When I get home and upload this, I'll be able to tell you what it is. But let me turn around, and there are people in the store, so I have to also be careful. Huh. What a neat piece. Crystal, it's very heavy. These baskets, they're very nice. And a little salt and pepper. Let me stroll through this aisle. Let's see what we got here. Let's see when I'm picking this up, I can't uh peel the sticker back. Let's see who the maker is of this. Okay, that's World Market. And I'm telling you, I swear I'm going slow. <laughs> What are these little doohickeys here? Those are nice. I mean, you know, of course we're in uh, Goodwill. Everything is cute and nice and cool. And if we could all put all the stuff in our homes just for show or just for having something cute, we would. This is a very interesting piece. Uh, very beautiful. But it doesn't uh, have any markings. Let me look. A little closer. 
I really came over to pick, pick up this luster pitcher here. This is what I came to look at. It's very heavy, you guys. It's neat. I mean, if I wanted it for myself. Because that's, that's what's up with it. And I know at some point I'll be coming back to get, like, some of these jars. Maybe things like this. I see they have a very large selection of it. So, that's something that I'll be looking at. And let's look at this green section. And I want to thank, I cannot remember her name, maybe Lois, for giving me the feedback. She said, make it closer and slow down. And I will do my best. Okay. Here's a cute little, I don't know if it's a... Uh, that's a good way of going shopping. <laughs> I know. I forgot my black light. And uh, this might glow. So I'm going to hold on to it. And I tell you guys to be prepared when you go shopping. And to have your black light. And things like that. And have your batteries. And you must plan. Because that's not what I've done. I didn't plan on coming here. I was out. I had to work today. So I decided to take a trek down here. That's nice. Okay, this aisle again is like crafts and ephemera and bags, that kind of thing, as you can see. And I think I'm going to bypass the aisle. Try not to get people. Excuse my haste. Those are nice. Excuse my haste. See the craft, the ribbons. I am moving a little fast here because these are things I'm just not trying to look at close. Um, and then there's people in this aisle. So this is like the metal stuff and then there's like wood and things here at some point I'll be back at this to this store and I'll take a look at some of the items they have here are like lamps lamp shades on the other side of the aisle I'm in now is uh candles. So I'm going to take a look at those. <sighs> These are cute. They're expensive, but not expensive in the sense that, you know, if you were buying these at like an art fair, you're going to be paying up for them. Um, but very goodwill. And I used to have a collection of these little sort of African inspired. And I have to see if they're actually authentic as opposed to like something that's just made in China. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. glass here. And they look like the lamps are worth coming back looking at. This is cute. Did you guys see this? Y'all let me pass by it. How neat is that? Oh man, it's from Marshalls. It's a good price though. Beautiful vase. Anything else? Yell it out to me. Okay, I wanted to look at this aisle, but there are people here. So let's see if they got anything in the wood aisle. I want to check out this little situation here. That's neat, isn't it? With the different crosses on it. I don't do a lot of um okay. so listen up guys i'm debating okay i have that one little jewelry business it's called threads and this looks like it'll hold the necklaces and everything my problem with it is that it's plastic and i don't know if i can do plastic i just i just don't know if i can do it that's neat. 
I still have this little shot glass thingy. I believe it's going to glow. I did buy something once I thought it glowed, got it home. Nope, it looked like it glowed, but it didn't. But I'm going to hope this one does. All right. Let me squeeze down this aisle. Now here are uh, the um, candle area. And what do you guys think I'm looking for in here? You guess it. Now, I could be looking for some nice uh, candle holders. That's very popular. Or, sometimes, there are fairy lamps in the candle section. So, this is neat. That is really cool. I, I think it's a pen and notepad set or something. Okay, blue. Blue end cap here. It's beautiful. Eye-catching. Look at that. It's made from like um that foam it's nice hey stay focused Jacqueline I am going to keep my eye out for a fairy lamp and I will not be satisfied until I find it so we shall see we shall see this is like the brown amber aisle I don't see anything super special. This caught my eye. It's, um, what is this? It's like a, I like that. It's got a chip, a big chip. What's this thing here? Maybe a home crafter of some sort. And I must say, I like that. I'm going to stay. What else do you guys see in this section? A little bit of pottery going on. Whoa, this is heavier than I thought. Okay. This right here. I can't, I don't know what kind of material that is. And here, the unique piece. There was a something on the bottom but it's gone and then what we have this little doohickey I don't know if these go together I think they marry those two <sighs> cycle glass that's very light a tray of some sort this is a different material it's nice though and uh, this is holiday aisle okay this is a popular aisle because the figurines are here so I'm going to see if I can find anything that I can look closer at. I hope I'm not going too quickly, y'all. I, I truly hope not. You know, the figurine aisle is one that is really nice and worth you taking the time to look. Um... So, because the store is, like, forcing us to move along. This is cute. It's a home crafter. That's really cute. They did a good job with that. Then they have the nativity set. I think sometimes when I'm looking at stuff, it's like, I'm just checking it out. It is nothing that I would probably buy, but I want to look a little closer at it. So... Sometimes that determine, determines my haste. It's like, I want to see something that's really cool, and then I want to point it out. This is a beautiful jar. Uh, usually they're called ginger jars. It's in good shape. And that's neat. I like that. And then the lines on this, I appreciate. Oh, it's a single. 
that's pretty. They did a good job with that. And there's a creamer and a sugar. Creamer and sugar from Sangle. <laughs> I have this exact thing at home in my inventory. It needs to be sold. I am planning on doing some... Oh, I've been in here a long time, y'all. I plan on doing some flea markets on a lot that I bought from my town. So I will keep you guys posted because I plan on living that event. They're going to be on the fourth Saturday of the month. My goal was to do it um, um, this month in June, but I really want it to be correct. I don't want to rush and have to do it. So I'm going to do it in July. I picked this up because of the glass. It's a very interesting. It does have the hanging on it, but I don't know if you... This, whatever this thing is on there, that's not of interest to me. But the glass itself is cool. I'm going to end this video because um, we've been going at it for a minute. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe, support my channel. Thank you all for uh, the subscribers, new subscribers and viewers. I appreciate you, Jacqueline Heirloom Vintage and Collectibles. See you on the other side.